So what does the November 26 uh, barbarities three years ago indicate? I think there are three things here. First of all, who were the attackers? Now, they were not indigenous attackers. They were assassins coming from elsewhere. So the second question is, how did the people affected behave? And that's very important because even though the assassins happened to be connected with a religious extremist group, or at least a community-based extremist group, uh, the reaction was very open and it did not talk, it didn't say that the Muslims were did it, it uh, said some assassins did it coming from Pakistan in this case. Now, so I think the fact that the protest movement had the had Hindus and Muslims and the Sikhs and the Parsis and others mixed together was a great statement of unity against the barbarity uh, of the event. And finally, I think the events of this kind serve as a reminder as to how important it is to cultivate uh, broader identities, which we also have. We may have an identity as a member of one religious group or another, but um, there's also a broader identity connected with being human being, in this case connected with being Indian, in this case also connected with, with being people from one city, namely Bombay. And all these give a different way of looking at the world. And any kind of identity, that is city identity, national identity, human identity, is a reason for skepticism about giving too much importance to the religious identity, to the divisive community-based identity. So even though it was a terrifying event, and, 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 and November 26 every year is an occasion for tremendous sadness, it also has the constructive effect to cultivate a broader perspective on the nature of human relations between one human being and another. So these are moments of enormous amounts of thinking, reflecting, wondering what can go wrong and what we can do to prevent things going wrong. I still call the city Bombay mainly because I've grown to call it that and I like thinking of it as a place which I've always admired uh, called Bombay. Now, historically, at some stage, it, I'm told, was called Mumbai, and somehow, um, with the kind of tremendous interest that people seem to have developed in returning back to historical bases, the city decided to rename itself Mumbai, just as Calcutta became Kolkata, which, of course, it had remained in Bengali colloquial use, but people in Bombay or in Calcutta had no great difficulty seeing that in your English speeches you can describe it as Bombay and Calcutta without doing any kind of harm to the identity or the glory of the city. I don't see really the merit of it. On the other hand, I can see the international community um, is confused because they spell it as Mumbai and therefore you say it's Mumbai. But, uh, you know, I don't think it really matters much what the city is called. I'm not going to be very easily reformed to call it uh, Mumbai as opposed to Bombay, I think.